wanted to make a video of how to uh, test a, a capacitor using a multimeter. Um, you may find that your multimeter is not capable of testing capacitors. Uh, take for example this meter right here. This is a fluke meter. Um, it does have a ohm setting, but unfortunately it does not have a capacitor symbol and uh, there's no setting to adjust it or any way to test capacitors. So if you do have a meter that looks something like this, um, sorry, but you're not going to be able to test it. Um, you want a meter that looks more like this, and if you go to the ohm setting right here, you're going to see a capacitance symbol. Um, that capacitance symbol um, means obviously your meter has the capability of uh, testing a capacitor. Uh, so what I'm going to do, this fluke meter here, we're going to go ahead and unhook it since obviously we can't test it. And we're going to be using this uh, Klein meter right here to actually do the test. Switch it over to the ohm setting. And then where you go to the node, you're going to scroll through. And what you're looking for is that NF right there. Um, that's the setting to put your Klein meter anyway to test the capacitor. Um, what it's going to be measuring, you're going to be measuring uh, microfarads. You can see here is a capacitor. It is 30 plus 5 um, microfarads and plus or minus 6% 370 volt. Um, what that means is it has three posts up here. One of them is a common, um, one of them is a fan, and one of them is going to say H-E-R-M. That stands for hermetic compressor. Um, and if you go from common to herm or common to fan, one of them is going to be 30, the other one's going to be 5, and you're allowed a plus or minus 6% variant, which means if it's not exactly 5 or not exactly 30, um, as long as it's within 6% of that number, you're going to be okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my one contact from my meter, I'm going to hook it to the common, and then the other contact, we're going to go ahead and uh, hook that up, if I can find it, here we go to either the fan or the herm. And we're going to switch over to the meter and uh, right now it's testing the capacitance. There, there's basically fluid inside of there. It's 31.08. Um, so what that means, it's very close to 30. It's well within 6%, so we know that one's good. The next one that we're going to be testing here is... I'm going to keep this on common. And we're going to go over to fan. Four point eight seven. So this capacitor checks out. It's good. This capacitor here it's actually really hard to read. I believe it says forty on it. Yeah, forty is the number we're looking for. Again, I'm gonna click one to common, one to the other post. See what we get. Uh, also, it doesn't matter which post you go to. Um, you can be on either one. It makes no difference as far as the reading is going to go. And there it is, 40.32. Um, even though this capacitor looks like hell, it still works. 